I thought the commentary community was full of dishonesty and ego. I mean, the entire genre was born from a backstab. Why am I still getting hate? But we got nothing on the beauty community over there. It seems like they backstab and snake each other as a pastime. Last week, I made a Twitter video questioning Toddy's motives. And I've never heard somebody speak so many words and actually say so little before in my whole life. I was told that I missed the point that I should stay in my land, that I should do more research. Well, I did. And I was one of the only people to call out Toddy as the snake liar that I knew she was. James, he's straight. And I was by curious. James. He's straight. We ended up making out for around an hour. How poetic is it that the most damning video of the beauty guru is coming from a sweaty, hairy guy? If you haven't seen last week's video, I suggest that you check it out because we are going to talk about the aftermath of what is probably the biggest scandal in YouTube history. So after losing millions of subscribers, having his reputation ruined, and being falsely accused as a sexual predator by someone he considers his own mother. My family, I love you. Oh, just shut up. I guess James Charles said, fuck that. I've had enough and released a video titled No More Lies. Actually backing up information with proof, real hard evidence, something Toddy couldn't produce. So here's just a couple of the lies that James Charles exposed that I couldn't disprove myself. You went to Coachella, somehow had a security issue, and magically Sugar Bear Hair is there with a contract in hand to save the day for you and all of your friends. I had remembered from weekend one that my friend Nikita Dragon, who I was with a lot of the time, was brought by Sugar Bear Hair and had an artist pass, personal security, and backstage passes, and was very, very taken care of and safe. When I felt unsafe in the situation, I panicked and I texted Nikita and asked her if she had a connection to the Sugar Bear Hair team that could potentially help me out. Nikita replied right away and she gave the Sugar Bear Hair team my personal phone number to which they reached out to me and offered to come rescue me with a pass and backstage access and security to make sure that I was okay and was able to enjoy the festival along with my friends. No company would ever go out of their way to have an extra, you know, handful of passes that cost thousands of dollars a piece like just in case. Well, they did. There's the receipts. So either Toddy didn't know that this was a possibility which would make her an idiot, or she knew about it the whole time and just lied. The most blatant lie she made was that James never told her about the sugar bear hair deal he signed before he posted his Instagram ad. To not even get a phone call, to not even get a text a few days prior, but right after that sponsored post went up to have a text like, hey mom, love you, I'm stressed. Um, just so you know, XYZ, I just did this post, but it's no big. Before posting my stories, I actually did text Tati first out of respect for her, giving her heads up about the sponsorship, but she was immediately upset. I tried my best to kind of explain the entire situation and also give her a direct apology as well, but at this point, I had signed the contract and I absolutely had to post it. There was no getting out of it. He texted her multiple times and even reached out to her husband. She lied about him being a predator. She lied about the Coachella passes. She even lied about the goddamn text messages. Is there any piece of information in her video that is true? Apparently not, because she deleted it. 50 million views, gone like that. My favorite part is that Toddy and Jeffrey continued to double down on Twitter, saying they had something. My family made me aware of what was just posted. I'm disappointed to see it littered with so many lies and half truth. I stand by my videos. Apparently not anymore, because you deleted them. Do not twist my words into what they are not. Hear my message. That message being, buy my fucking vitamins. I don't even know what she's talking about. She's literally lied about everything in her video. Why should I believe you now? Where are your receipts? If that's the playing field that we're on and I have to go there, just know my receipts my receipts are like stacked thick. Knowing what we know now, this shit is just so fucking hilarious. How just ballsy she is to go up there and just spew bullshit. And I just want to point out, she just sounds like such a mom saying this. Receipts my receipts. Like even she knows how ridiculous that sounds coming out of her mouth. Jeffree Star was the one talking the most shit. Everyone keeps asking me for my receipts. I have so much to say and some really sad, disgusting things to show you guys. James Charles tried to mass manipulate you all to death. When I show you the proof and why I tweeted the tweet about him, you will all finally understand. I believe Jeffrey is referring to the tweet where he says James is a danger to society. I am so confused if James Charles, this guy, this guy, this guy really is a danger to society. Wouldn't society benefit knowing that information? Why are you only coming forward with it now? 
Jeffrey did make a video, but he didn't expose James Charles. He apologized. I was in a dark place yesterday. I said some things online about pulling receipts and showing things, and I think sometimes we slip into our old ways. So did you lie about the whole danger to society part? I'm still not sure. Toddy also backed down, giving the most half-assed apology I've ever seen. I don't even want to read this because it makes me so angry. It's like, for fuck's sake, guys, you could try and do a little bit better. You did just try and ruin it. This guy's whole life. Hi, all. But now that the drama is all over, I think it's time that we look at some of the good stuff to come out of it. I got to work with PewDiePie, giving him information and pointers for his video. I got to change the minds of a lot of people on the subject with my own. The commentators I called out in my video, along with a few others, have apologized for getting the story wrong. I personally feel like I owe James an apology. Kavos, who I've openly criticized in the past, has given me credit on his channel. The video I first saw really going against this was from Willie Mac. He made a video, he made a video pretty much calling this for what it was. Kavos and I are going through the full Goku Vegeta story arc. I'll be the best man at his wedding by the end of the year. I am really proud for how my community has stepped up over the past couple of weeks. Me sitting here and talking about how right I am is easy. Being wrong and owning up to it is a lot harder. I know it probably doesn't mean much coming from me, but you guys have earned a lot of my respect for all of this. Also, Toddy struck down my video. Apparently, she had a bot going around claiming videos that detected her content in it. I was hesitant to dispute the initial claim because even though it was fair use, it would put her in a position where she could strike down my video. After hearing from several YouTubers that it was just her bot making a mistake and that she was releasing claims, I finally decided to dispute it. And then what do you know, I got struck down. Now I'm proud of my community. I had so many YouTubers stepping up to help me out. H3H3, Kavos, Adam22, PewDiePie even put me in Pew News. I DM'd her just asking her to release my video and after about three hours of of a house storm on Twitter, she messaged me saying, I'm just seeing this, it was an error, it has been released. Sorry to cause any frustration for you. In error, a strike has to manually be done. What, did you accidentally fall on the Nukish channel button? I don't know how the strike system works from the other side of it, but according to Grande, copyright strikes can't be automated through content ID. Only a block without a strike can. So this was manual. The strike was relieved fairly quickly and she did apologize for it. Now, I don't think Toddy herself personally struck down my video. I think her husband's the one that deals with handing out strikes because I was given his email as a contact for it. I think he saw my video trashing his wife, got mad like any husband would, and decided fuck this shit and took it down. Even if that is the case, I still think some responsibility has to fall on her. Whoever is in charge of dealing with the copyright claims for her needs to be able to emotionally disconnect themselves from any criticisms made and just be able to look at it from a legal standpoint. She doesn't know about the monsters on the other side of the pond, which is the, the you know, commentary community <laughs> uh there's one cardinal sin in the commentary <laughs> chat community do not claim and well most of all don't block or strike it doesn't matter what they say it doesn't matter how they say it if you strike a video or claim a video you have committed the cardinal sin and mascara off. Either way, it's not a good look for her. People think she's lying about calling it an error and even though I think she is being genuine, she's lied about all of this other shit. Why believe her now? The beauty community has all of this money and literally the worst PR team ever. <laughs> Moral of the story, stay out of the vitamin business. It is cutthroat, dude. James Charles, you did it to yourself. I want to thank you guys, YouTubers, for having my back through all of this. I don't forget this kind of stuff easily. I really appreciate it. See you next week.